Hello friends. Today I am talking about the apparent triplets. How the apparent triplet will come? What is the calculation of the J value and chemical shift of the apparent triplet? This is a special case of the doublet of doublet. Let's look at the example here. This is a very nice triplet spectra when you have this type of molecule. So these two proton has similar chemical shift or same chemical shift and coupling constant toward this proton is also same. So you will get the nice triplet. But what is the special case of the doublet of doublet when it come as a triplet as a apparent triplet. So you will see here this type of the compounds you have A, B, C have different chemical shift. All our chemical shift are different. Sometimes coupling constant is also different or same or similar. If are they different then you get a doublet of doublet. If they have similar or same chemical shift you will get the apparent triplet. So sometimes you will observe n plus 1 rule also fail in these examples. So it's not a unique thing in this type of the molecules. So this is a table taken from a paper. So you will see JY is the constant in this column and JZ is varies. So when you have 0 there gz then you will only see two peak when the increase the jz value so one two three four so you will get a doublet of doublet very nice but the problem arises here confusing here when j is equal to jz is equal to jy and four four similar so you will get a triplet but the thing is that you have different chemical shift so when you increasing the J value, you will see one or three peaks now is very far away from each other. So how these peaks are positioned on the scale, I will tell you. So J is equal to four hertz. So minus two and two plus here is equal to 4 hertz so its center is here the 0 then we have split 2 unit here 2 unit here that is equal to 4 hertz then again next j is equal to 2 hertz you can split here 1 unit here 1 unit here 1 unit here 1 unit here so you will get minus 2 minus 1 so minus 3 here and you will see here minus 2 plus 1 here you will get here 1 so these are the positions of these peaks on this scales similarly 4 hertz is here and you have 12 coupling constant hertz in so 6 unit here is 6 unit here you will get minus 2 minus 6 say minus 8 here and minus 2 plus 6 4 so yeah, that will become here 4 so that will you observed in last slide this one minus 8 and this one is the 4 similarly other peaks are also shown so it is not a special case you can split first into 12 hertz then you can split into 4 hertz there is no net effect on calculation of the J value this type of analysis or in you can say different way. So you can split into first 12 then you can split into 4 according to your T diagram. So this is a typical example taken from paper. So you have this one round hydrogen you will see the different coupling constant you will get doublet of doublet note down the chemical shift of the very 0.6.4 difference between the chemical shift is very small sometimes you will get 0 0.5 0 0.55 and 0 0.61 so each hydrogen has different chemical shift but the j value are same 
so you will get this for this hydrogen you will get a triplet so the coupling constant of uh, this proton is also same and coupling constant of also proton the same so for this 3 megahertz 3.8 3.8 are the same that's why you get triplet but the chemical shift delta value is different for 0.8 sorry 0 0.4 0 0.61 so this is a type of explanation i will show you one example uh, which has complete spectra of that molecule in coming lectures you will can analyze very clearly how these three protons or four proton or five proton are completely different in environment that will generate a triplet so this is a what we learn about uh, Yeah, this is a type of molecule so HB is coupled to this one and HA also coupled to this one so they have different similar type of chemical shift you get distorted triplet like over here so don't confuse with some other type of peaks just analyze clearly what is coupling occurring to between the two these two protons HA and HB so its integration gives you one proton for this this is the example of the pyridine uh, or you can observe in bipyridine or 144 pyridines 222 pyridine or 33 pyridines or maybe phantholines or maybe in curine cases so this is the example of this type of the spectra you have very close chemical shift in this spectra so this is a very nice doublet of doublet spectra so this is a software calculated j value so when you have click on this one click on this one you will get 7.91 when you click on this one click on and press the j that will calculate 7.57 so now main thing is how you report the chemical shift so chemical shift is reporting of this type molecule is very simple just write down the chemical shift 7.95 you can take the center of this peak or you can take the average of the external peaks so it's like doublet of doublet 7 is equal to 7.91 or second j value 7.7 .7. sometimes you will observe 7.9 7.8 5 so not worry about so what you have you observed you just write down and for one proton and which protons and also look about the other position like i told you this proton this proton and chemical shift of this proton this proton so you have to do all analysis for that our proton so just this is a large value the j is a small one two three two to four just this is just annotation of that uh, table this one so I hope this one is clear but not confused with the triplet simple triplet which has same type of the chemical shift so I will come with more complex pattern doublet of doublet and some calculation of the J value which is a special procedure for this type of molecules when you have confusing type of the spectra I will take the example of this type of the spectra so please like and subscribe my channel thank you very much